Good morning. I'm uh, Mayor Chuck Bennett. I want to begin uh, this week's message to the community asking you to please wear your masks, please wash your hands, and please practice social distancing. I know there's a lot of questions about the science and our rights. The bottom line is it will keep our businesses open. Now, for those of you like me who've missed being able to enjoy Public Works Day at Riverfront Park in June, you'll find the virtual option online. Yes, they're gonna continue the 17-year tradition of uh, Public Works staff doing booths, participating in gauge, games, activities online. Be sure to check it out. And for those of you who are new to this video series, we always have a guest topic. Today, Public Works Department Director Peter Fernandez uh, will be visiting with us about how Public Works staff is doing their great work during the pandemic. And he's here to talk about that and more. Well, Peter, thank you for joining me. Uh, as I mentioned, this is Peter Fernandez. He's Director of Public Works. Uh, first, congratulations on putting together uh, this year's remote or, or online Public Works uh, Day. What kind of, what can people expect? Today, Public Works Day is really about teaching the community, teaching our, our youth uh, what Public Works does, uh, getting them excited about perhaps even joining us someday. And uh, through our GIS technology, we've uh, provided some great activities for people to still get to know the community and get to know what, uh, what we do at Public Works. We've had some discussion going on about the city budget and on the, on the about over half billion dollars the city spends, how much of that as a percentage is spent on public works related projects that your department deals with? Sure, so public works uh, has an operational budget of about a hundred million dollars, uh, all of the public works functions, uh, and then about 250 million is capital projects ah. and of course they're not all public works projects but uh, public works engineers and project managers manage all of the city's projects no matter what department they're they're from so the new police station the essentially new library the pothole in the street all of those are in your purview all of those are managed by public works department staff one that i know is on the public's mind as the weather gets warmer is algae in the water and I just want to give you a chance to kind of, I, I, I've been saying each year now for a couple of years, there will not be a problem this year. I, tell us why there isn't a problem coming up this year. There is algae in the source water up at Detroit Reservoir that is naturally occurring. Even today? Uh, even today, we track it uh, starting uh, the, the 1st of March. We take samples. Uh, virtually every day up at the reservoir and we test for it so we know there's algae that cyanotoxins which is what we're worried about is a byproduct of the algae dying and then they the, the scientific term is they lice uh, the toxin so the toxin is released and that is what we're looking for uh, that toxin is up in the water it's naturally occurring what we want to look at is when it gets to significant levels to levels that affect uh, human health uh, then we take action and the action that we've taken last year uh, and we're taking this year is we add powdered activated carbon uh, which is basically I like to call it a gigantic Brita filter ah, okay. uh, that's what Brita filters have so the carbon uh, absorbs the algae then we take that carbon out of the water and we add we put it through our filters and then we add a lot of chlorine to make sure that any out any toxin that may be left is disposed of and then before it gets to our reservoirs we take all that chlorine out so that what people are tasting is the same good tasting water that we've always had so well, we so. sure appreciate it and it uh, really has been uh, successful for the past couple of years uh, is there anything else any challenges you're facing right now that uh, could show up in the paper tomorrow uh, <laughs> that's always the one that uh, I know interests citizens is there something Right. Pending so, out there. So we're always worried that uh, that uh, you know that the system may not absorb all the algae. Uh -huh. uh, we are working toward uh, constructing the ozone treatment facility up at Garen Island, so that we we will stop doing the powdered activated carbon and start treating the water with ozone, which is a much more effective mm -hmm. uh, way of treating the water. Uh, so next year we'll feel even more comfortable. 
uh, than we do than we do this year. You're doing some work at Woodman Sea Park, and that's related to our water water quality as well. Right. So for oh the past 20 years, we have used the fractured basalt uh, rock formation that's underneath Woodman Sea Park to store water, and we can store up to a billion gallons of wow. water. So what we do is we take the water that we treat at Garen Island, we, in the winter, we pump it into the ground and store it there. <clears throat> and then in the summertime when we need it, we pump it out, uh, rechlorinate it, and then put it into the system. That's why sometimes we get citizens calling us and saying, hey, the water tastes a little different. Perfectly safe to drink, but it's influenced by the minerals in, in the ground. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, the construction that we're doing is to add more pumps so that we have more capacity to put the water in and take the water out. And we're adding a treatment system so that we can add additional treatment to the water just to confirm that the water is perfectly safe to drink. And finally, uh, this summer, if something, let's just say everything goes wrong, because that, that's always, I know you're always prepared for that potential. How many days of water do we have readily available to us? Sure, typically uh, we will maintain our reservoirs full uh, we are able to store, just at Franzen Reservoir up in Turner, we're able to store 95 million gallons. Uh, we can reduce, uh, if people don't water, uh, we can reduce the, the need to about 35 million gallons a day in town. So just in Franzen alone, we'd have three days of water. Uh, we have a billion gallons at, at uh, Woodmancy. So we, we really could go for a long time if we had to shut down the plant completely. Right, right. We would never anticipate having to do that, uh, but we typically would have a week to 10 days of water if we were producing absolutely no water at Garen great, Island. Great, Well, hope we have a great summer and thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us.